Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Google Chrome Web Browser for Desktop, version 120, which Google started rolling out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 5th of December. Now, as always, we get um, the all-important security updates that have rolled out with this latest release. So to double-check that we have this update to see that we are patched, we head to our main menu, Help About Google Chrome, as many of you will know, and after this update has been applied, which this process will do if it hasn't already, um, the version is upgraded to version 120.0.6099.63. Now that point release should either be 62 or 63, depending if you are using Mac, Windows or Linux. Now just to go through the security patches that have rolled out, we get 10 security fixes that have rolled out. And although there are no exploits in the wild or critical issues, we get two high-risk vulnerabilities that have been patched. And both of the high-risk vulnerabilities that have been patched are used after free, which is a common exploit in the Chromium-based web browsers, as many of you will know if you've been viewing this channel. And then we get a medium and two lows. We only get five that have been listed, but there are 10 security fixes that have rolled out. So nonetheless, um, no criticals, but your high-risk vulnerabilities, patch and use after free issues, um, those are your second highest after a critical, so nonetheless an important security update that has been made available with this latest release. Now with the security side of things out of the way, we do get a couple of new features in Chrome version 120. And just to let you know that some of these new features are rolling out using a controlled rollout. So you may see some of these, you may not, but nonetheless, um, they are listed as new features for Chrome version 120. Now, first of all, um, the first new feature is called Responsive Toolbar. And if we dive a little bit more deeper into what this feature is about, um, as many of you may know, um, if we head over to the Canary version, as I've been posting, um, Google is adding more and more buttons to the toolbar which obviously makes it harder to fit all the options at a glance at smaller window widths. So basically, uh, Google now is adding a responsive toolbar, as they are calling it, um, option which automatically adjusts how many items you can see at a time when you minimize Google Chrome, as an example. So buttons that don't fit anymore are moved into a menu behind a Chevron icon at the right. Now, this hasn't rolled out by default in my part of the world. But nonetheless, if we head over to our experimental flags page by entering chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the Omnibox, the first of three features that are rolling out using a controlled rollout is this responsive toolbar. So here you can see if we enable the flag, it says toolbar icons overflow to a Chevron icon when the browser width is resized small than normal. Now, even if I have enabled the flag, I'm still not seeing the Chevron. So as an example, if I just minimize that completely, I'm still not seeing it. But nonetheless, um, that is the flag you can enable and you may have better luck than me. And you should see right here next to your profile picture, you should see a little chevron, um, little arrows pointing to the right. And if you click on that, you can see your overflow icons in the toolbar. And I actually think that's a nice move, just making things a little bit more um, user-friendly in the toolbar, especially now that they are adding more buttons. So that's the first of a couple of new features that's rolling out using a controlled rollout. Then something else, as I've been posting, if we just head over to our extensions, we get a redesigned Chrome Web Store. And I have posted a whole video on the new uh, Chrome Web Store, which I'll leave down below. But basically, you get in a new UR new extension categories and so on and I actually think this looks a lot better than the old um, previous web store a lot of more material you modern visual redesign look and feel rolling out but go check that video out regarding the web store that'll be down um, in the description box below now another feature that's rolling out using a controlled rollout is a feature called revamped safety check which regularly checks the browser for uh, safety related issues and basically tells users when there's anything that needs um, your and their attention. Now once again, um, this hasn't rolled out by default, but you can enable it using an experimental flag by heading to um, your Omnibox once again and entering Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And now you'll see safety check version 2. It says when enabled safety check version 2 will be visible in settings. You just enable that flag, restart your browser as always to apply the flag. And now if we head back to our settings, 
privacy and security, you can see the enhanced safety check and revamped. And if you go to safety check, yeah, we can see that the whole layout and UI has been changed. And I actually think this is nice, just breaking everything up uh, into different categories. And that's the revamped safety check at a glance, which I also think is another nice move in the right direction. Then um, just to mention this next one quickly, because this is only rolling out to basically 1% of users. And it's a new screen to select the default search engine that is starting to become available in Chrome version 120, this latest release. So if we head over to our settings and our search engine, this is where you can change your different search engines for the browser. So basically selected users at this stage, so Google is A-B testing this feature, um, will be able to choose a, their default search engine from Chrome. This prompt basically controls the default search engine setting currently available in Chrome, which is this setting we are available and looking at now, the search engine page. And as mentioned, only 1% of users, so basically Chrome is A-B testing this feature, will start getting the, uh, this uh, choice screen with Chrome 120. And by the time we get to version 122, all users will get the choice screen and the new screen to select the default search engine. And that's another new feature that's starting to roll out, as mentioned, to only 1% of users in Chrome version 120. So just take note of that. And then something else, um, which another feature that's hidden behind a, an experimental flag and is currently on a controlled rollout is the new password sharing in Password Manager, which basically, if we just head back to our experimental flags page again, you can enable using this flag, enables password sharing, of password between members of the same family. So you need to be in a family group to be able to share passwords. So obviously Google is clamping down on that a little bit, which I think is a nice move. So you won't just be able to share your passwords with anyone, which I think is a nice move. So for this one, we're just gonna head over back to Chrome Canary and we click on our password manager, head over to that. And if we click on a relevant password, you will see now that we have the new share after that flag has been enabled. You click on that and there we go. You'll be able to share a copy of your password. And as mentioned, they even say, say yeah, for now you can only share passwords with family members. So take note of that. So if you're not seeing that, as mentioned, go enable that experimental flag in the stable version and um, you will see the option to share your passwords with family members basically. And then um, just to mention one or two um, we also, as I've posted previously, um, Google is starting to deprecate third-party cookies. And that's also carrying on now with version 120. And once again, only about 1% of all Chrome users will have third-party cookies disabled by January next year of 2024. So this is a slow, progressive change that Google is bringing, um, phasing out third-party cookies. So the rollout for everyone where um, the third-party cookies will be phased out completely will be by mid-2024. So we can expect that around June, July of next year. So the deprecation of third-party cookies is now be is now um, starting to happen more in version 120. And then just to mention the last change, um, and this is applying to Android 7 Nougat. So um, version 120 does not support Android 7 Nougat anymore. So if you are an Android user and you are running Nougat, you won't get this update to version 120. You'll have to update your Android to um, Android 8 or a newer version. So that's more or less what's new in Chrome version 120. As mentioned, a lot of new features which are rolling out using a phased controlled rollout. And as mentioned, if you're not seeing some of them, just go enable those three experimental flags and that should enable those features for you in version 120. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.